What is up, all nations, and welcome to today's video. Today, I'm going to present you guys the most powerful mage armor we currently, right now, have in the game, and that is this right here, guys, the Asur armor set. Let's take a quick look at what the armor set looks like, and I'm going to tell you guys where you need to go to actually get it, how you start the quest, and what are the requirements you need to actually pick this amazing armor. Now, let's take a look at it a little bit closer, and what makes this armor stand apart from others is the fact that this particular armor gives you a boost to magic when you have just the helmet alone. Because it reads, What power remains within raises the potency of the Asur's primeval current sorceries at the cost of additional FP consumption. If you guys saw my one-shot build, we are going to negate that FP consumption to make it that we're not using anyone. So if you want to know exactly how you can make this even more OP than it currently is, check out my one-shot build. But that is what makes this helmet stand out. Now, another cool thing about this one is, of course, the robes. Now, these particular robes are, have nothing special in the sense that they're going to give you any additional bonus. Just aesthetically, they look amazing. And last but not least, you will also be getting the gauntlets, which are looking amazing as well. The gauntlets don't give you any, like, buff to magic or anything like that, but aesthetically, they look awesome. So let's get a closer look, guys. Basically, these are going to be very good to negate any magic damage. As you see, they come with very high damage negation. So 15.4, 3.4, and also 5.8. So really good when it comes to fighting enemies that have magic. So they're really effective. Now that we saw the armor, you definitely want to know where to pick it up. Well, let's go ahead and find out. If you guys are enjoying our Elden Ring content, don't forget to drop a like. It helps us out with the algorithm. So make sure you hit that like. You're like your mama taught you right. And now let's talk about what you're going to need to do to get this amazing armor. So I'm going to give you three things that you need to do before you start the quest. The reason I'm going to say you need to do these is because this is going to reduce the fact that you're going back and forth, back and forth. The first requirement, I and mean, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have this already completed, is that you have to beat Renala, Queen of the Full Moon. She's going to be part of the storyline, so you're going to have to kill her, and she's going to have to be dead in order for you to get this item. So I'm pretty sure at least 80% of you guys have beaten her. If you haven't beaten her, drop it in the comment section down below like, Laser, I haven't beaten her. And number two, guys, you need to have beaten Radon. Now, if you guys don't know exactly where to go and beat Radon, I'm actually going to show you guys right here on the map where you need to go and what you need to do. Now, there is going to be a little bit thing that extra that you're going to have to do from beating Radon. And that is go ahead and talk to the guy that's going to be in the, uh, pretty much that's going to be in the area that before you go into the quest line. You know the guy you talk to and he says, yo, uh, you know, there's a big tournament going on and this is what's going on. But basically, guys, to get to get to Redon, you're going to have to go to this location right here on the map. It's pretty much all the way to the far, uh, uh, down to the right hand side of the map. And it's going to be this area. We're going to need to go to this particular castle. And once we go into this castle, we're going to need to talk to this guy right here. It's an NPC. Talk to him. He's going to tell you that the festival is about to start. And, and that's going to initiate the Redon boss fight. Kill Redon. And you guys have that already out of the way. Now, the last thing you're going to need to do is, guys, you're going to want to make sure you actually talk to Azur before you begin his quest. Now, in order to do that, guys, you're going to need to go and pick up the Comet special ability. Now, if you guys saw my video on what the best ability is currently right now in the game, this, which is the Comet, the Comet of Azur, you should already know the location. So if you have those three things checked off, you're able to continue. If you don't have those three things checked off, I'm going to show you guys where to actually pick up the Comet so you can start the quest line. What you guys are going to need to do, you guys are going to go to the Entry Gazing Hills. And from there, you're going to wake your wake around until you get to Azur. So let me go ahead and show you guys exactly how you get there and how to make this go fast and easy. The thing here is get on your torrent and avoid everything you possibly can. And work your way, uh, just follow what I'm doing, and you'll be able to get there without a problem. So, here you go. One thing I would recommend that you watch out, there are fire flames in here that go up like that and spark up. So, you're going to want to avoid those because those will burn you and it's going to hurt. So, you want to definitely avoid those like that. You see what I'm saying? So, you're definitely going to want to avoid those. I continue going right here. I'm saying, like, you got to avoid them, and I just run straight into it, all right? All right, here we go. So, we're going to continue avoiding that as much as we can, and we are going to be veering to the left-hand side of the map now there tends to be a thing where people tend to get lost here so you want to make sure you just keep going straight now avoid all the enemies you possibly can they're not that difficult to avoid just stay onto your left hand side and you guys should be good now if you want to come back and explore later you're more than welcome to come back and explore later but right now the main thing is getting to this location right here and as here we go we are avoiding the fire and boop boop all right and we keep veering to the left Keep avoiding the fire. All 
right, here we go. I don't, can't believe that actually got me. That was almost over. We're going to keep going here. Now, once you get to this part right here and you get out of the whole fiery flame issue, you're going to go up towards this castle. Now, this castle is going to be pretty interesting, but one thing I would recommend, you see how your health is low because you got a little bit of fuego up in your up in your heels? Get off the horse and get on this resting point and hit this side of grace. This is going to be helpful in case you die. You're always able to come back here from the spawn. All right, so guys, once you guys rest in this resting grace, it should be able to get your health back. So we're going to hop back on Torrent once again, and we are going to continue our journey here to progress to this part. Now, once you get to this part right here, guys, there is going to be a boss. You're going to want to avoid the boss and you know, avoid those guys too. They're a little bit annoying. It's weird. Make yourself to the left-hand side. Just stick left. And what you're going to want to do is avoid these guys as well. You see where these guys are fighting it out, like duking it out, like, who has the most fire? That's the ones you want to avoid. Just keep going. Stick to the left-hand side and just ignore them. Now, when we get to this part, this is the part where the boss is going to be coming from this lake, this magnet lake. So what we want to do, guys, is we want to avoid them as much as we can. Don't worry about your health ticking just a tad bit. As you guys see, we're getting a little bit health issues right here. I mean, our health is not really going down, but you guys get you guys. Oh, yeah. So torrent, torrent went down, guys. We're just going to have to you know, run ourselves before our health goes completely down. Now, we were trying to avoid torrent to, uh, from going down, but we're still going to need him. Yes, we're going to get him back. All right, so after we got torrent back from, uh, from the grave, we're going to come back here, guys, and work our way over here. Now... Theoretically speaking, you could go on without Torrent going down. Uh, I don't know why he goofed up this time. Maybe he was, uh, his heels were on fire. What you're going to do is you're going to keep going to this way until you get to Hermit Village, which should be coming up really shortly here. And you want to save a little bit of your stamina just because there is a uh, boss that swings at you real quick. Right when you guys get to this part, so we want to avoid that real quick. Uh, so we're going to go this way and keep going, keep going straight. And we're almost there. We're not that far. So now you're going to get to this farm section, and this is where the dude swings at you, and you want to avoid that. So just do what I do, and you guys should be good to go, okay? So I'm going to go here, climb up here, and here's the dude right here. There he comes. Just want to avoid him as quickly as he possibly can. Go through here. All right, so we arrived on her to Hermit Village. I wanted to just beat that guy that was there. Once we get to this part of Hermit Village, oh, uh, he caught up to me. See, that's what I wanted to avoid. I was trying to avoid that. There's going to be another boss right here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to jump up here. And to get to this area, what we'll do is get off our torrent, rest on this resting place. And this should get rid of the, um, that should get rid of the boss once we rest. So let's go ahead and see if we can rest. All right. We're going to rest real quick. And we should be good. The boss is cleared. And now we have access to the vendor. Now, once we get to the vendor, we're going to talk to him. And he's going to give us access to this beautiful and amazing spell. And there you guys have it. We picked up the Comet of... Alright, so for the next step, guys, you're going to have to go to the Waypoint Ruins. And in the Waypoint Ruins, you're going to need to talk to the Sorcerer Selen. Now, she's going to have a lot of dialogue. What I would suggest is just listen to all her dialogue, get rid of all her dialogue. Now, when you're done with all her dialogue, she's then going to have another option for you to talk to her, another dialogue called Shore Asur's Sorcery. This is because you picked up the comet, and this is what's actually going to start the quest to activate and to get this armor. Now, when she starts talking, just go ahead, listen to her, and clear out all the dialogue. And then after you're done talking to her, talk to her again, and then you're going to click where it says, tell me your story. Then when she tells you the story, guys, you're also going to go ahead, and she's going to tell you about another magician called Master Lucid. Now, him in particular, he has an armor set as well, which I'm going to tell you guys how to get in another video, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But you just want to go ahead and keep clearing the dialogue as you're going. Now, after you're done with all the complete dialogue, she's going to give you an item called the Seal Breaker. Of course, you should already know what this does. It's supposed to break a seal. All right, guys. So now that you have all the items ready to go, guys, you're going to want to go to this location right here. Now, there's two ways you can get here. You can either do the fourth for off way or you can come to the Dragon Barrel Fork. Either way, you want to get up in this vicinity, or you can come all the way through here. It's just going to be a further distance that you're going to have to travel, but the closest one is this one right here. You're basically always going to want to end up here to make sure you get the shortcut. So once you're at this location, you're going to want to go to this cave, which is called the Hideaway. This is where we're going to use the seal in order to be able to get the stuff that needs to be getting for, for her to bring it back to her. So we're going to travel here to the fourth, and once we're in the fourth, we're going to take this route. Now, this personally route is the best way you can actually get down there without taking any fall damage. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. You're going to go here. You're going to keep going down here. Take this little pathway. 
Now, you're going to go to this part where I actually... All right, so you're going to come to this location right here and keep going a little bit. After this rock, guys, you're going to jump and you're going to notice that there is this kind of like little boulder sticking out, right? So what you want to do, guys, is you want to go down to this bottom part right here, this one right here, and jump on top of the tree that's right there, okay? So you want to make sure you land on the tree so you don't take fall damage, land on the tree, and now you're in the bottom, and now you're in the in the Kaled. Now, in the Kaled, there is going to be a kind of like a grave site right there with an enemy. What you want to do, of course, is avoid the enemy, not get shot by the enemy, even though he does hurt when he shoots you, and you want to, you know, get rid of these guys. But what you want to do here, guys, is you also want to make sure that you, you don't have to get rid of them, but you're going to want to walk up to this wall, and in this wall, you're going to want to hit it. All right, guys, so now that you guys entered that area, you're going to have to go through the wall way like I did, and you want to make sure you get to the area where there is a kind of wall bar barrier, which I'm going to show you guys right now. When you get to this wall barrier, guys, you're going to find the uh, break the wall seal, and you're going to find Lucy right there. And he, once you find him, he's going to be kind of dead. You're going to go ahead and walk up to him, and you are going to get a thing called the Stars of Ruin. There's going to be an item that he's going to give you. Once he gives you said item, you're able to leave the area and get out of the cave, or you can complete the cave if you want. You're still able to get some really cool, powerful, magical stuff. So if you are a mage, I would highly recommend you complete it. If not, just leave the area. You're then going to have to go back and talk to Selen, and once again, she is going to give you guys another dialogue. Once again, do the dialogue and click where it says about my request. All right, so once you finish her dialogues, guys, now she's going to tell you, you know, I'm going to ask you for a favor, and you're going to do her the favor. And that favor, guys, is actually going to take you to this back part here, which is a part where there's going to be a little bit of ruins. Now, these particular ruins are going to be the ones that are going to lead you to find the extra piece of the puzzle. Now, you're able to come all the way back here, guys, to this particular area. I already have a waypoint, which is very close to the ruins, which is the Fourth Church of America. Now, if you don't have one, I do know that there is a point right here as well. Basically, you want to make sure you get to this part right here where these ruins are at. I'm going to play the video of me actually getting to these ruins because there is a little pathway that leads down there. And once you go into that pathway, you are then going to be able to continue to the next step. When you get into this area, guys, you're going to notice that not only do you need to break the wall to actually find the downstairs path, but you also need to raise a door to get in here. Now, when you go up to this door, you're going to notice that there is going to be a dead body of sources selling. Now, make sure you check the area because there are other stuff that you're able to get, especially if you're into magic, which you, I think you get the shard, the ambush shard from here. So talk to her, and she's going to tell you, you know what, I'm going to give you guys my glintstone, but you need to take this glintstone to another body to revive me. So you're going to grab her, stick your hand into her tummy, grab her soul, and then we're going into the another area because now with the Selen's primal glintstone, we actually have to go and resurrect her with her new body. All right, so after you guys have her soul ready to go, now we have to go and go to the manor. Now, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. Uh, what I would recommend, if you haven't done this area already, come and do this particular area, which is the uh, Caria Manor. And this is not that difficult to complete, guys. It's super easy. I wouldn't say super easy, but it's pretty easy. Like, there's only one boss that you have to fight. So basically, you start off right here. And you wake away around the manor, and within this area right here, this lake area, there's going to be a boss. You're going to kill that little boss, and then you're able to proceed to this top part of the portion, which is called the Rian's Rise. This is where you guys actually want to end and have the checkpoint. If you don't have this checkpoint, as you make your way up here, just follow the video of what I do, because from this checkpoint, you have to go out of the, out of the castle. And then go to the other place, so just follow this area, and you guys should be good to go. Now, once you land here, guys, it's pretty simple. Come back outside of the castle, avoid the dragon, make a left, go to the ruins, hit the floor because you're not going to be able to see the pathway, work your way down, and then you're going to find Selen once again, and you're going to want to make sure you give her her soul. Alright, so now that we returned her soul, guys, we are back again, fast traveling, guys, back to when we killed Radon. We're going to go to this particular area, which is called the chamber outside of the plaza, and we're going to head over here. And remember the NPC we talked about earlier? He said, yo, you're going to start this new festival and yada, yada, yada. He's going to be located back here. But we're going to have to go travel to this place and walk our way up the bridge. And he's going to be sitting on a chair. Walk up to him and talk to him. Activate the uh, dialogue. And then we're on to the next step. All right, so once that NPC has done talking to you guys, it's actually pretty easy after this. Now, I'm pretty sure the majority of you guys have already completed the area where you need to kill the queen of the full moon because you can't do this quest without completing it and that is basically the area we're going to go to so you should have all this area unlocked because you can't get this armor unless you kill the queen of the moon 
So, you should have this area unlocked. Now, once you go here, guys, you're going to go and make sure you go to the area where you actually fought her. So, so this is going to be the Raya Lucia's Grand Library. We're going to fast travel right there. And when we fast travel right here to this particular area, this is where the boss fight is at. Or remember where we killed her. And she's going to be kind of dead on center. What you're going to want to do, guys, is you're going to want to make sure you exit the area you came in through this area. Now, when you exit the area where you came in through this area, you're going to notice right outside the door, there are going to be two options. There's going to be like a red flame and a yellow flame. Now, the, these flames will give you an option to decide who you want to protect in this fight that's going to happen. Basically, the NPC we went to go talk to at Redon's, He's going to be the one fighting, and so is going to be Selen. So you got to pick which one do you want to protect. So you're going to have to decide who do you want to fight with. Do you want to fight for the Redon NPC, or do you want to fight for the for Selen? Of course, we want to fight for Selen because we're mage characters, and we want to get as much mage power as we possibly can. So we're going to go to the yellow option. Once you select the yellow option, you're going to get spawned back inside the area where we killed the Queen of the, the Fool, Queen of the Moon, and we're going to go ahead and help her kill the NPC of Redon. Now, once we kill him, we're going to be able to get some really amazing loot. We're going to get uh, able to get some really good stuff, but that is not exactly what we're after. Now, after that grand fight, guys, Selen's going to appear in the middle of the map. Now, once she appears in the middle of the map, you're going to go ahead and talk to her, and she's going to give you a dialogue. After she's done with the dialogue, you're going to go to the rest spot and rest in the rest spot, come back up, and she's going to be converted to a big ball with a bunch of heads. She's going to be right here. And then she's going to be part of a vending portion where you're going to be able to buy and sell stuff. So after she goes ahead and you you uh, you pretty much rested, she's going to disappear from the area of the map. And you guys are good to go. Now, to collect the final piece, which is the complete armor, where exactly did we go? Well, guys, do you remember where we picked up the comet? Basically, what we need to do is fast travel to the location where we picked up the comet, which is going to be located over here. You should now have, of course, the fast travel point where that area is at, which should be called Primeval Sorcerer Zur. Now, what you want to do is fast travel to that location, and when you fast travel to that specific location, there's going to be a dead body in the ground with a light, purple light beaming out of it. Walk up to it, pick it up, and now you picked up the most powerful mage armor in the game. And there you guys have it. That is how you get the Azor armor set. If you guys are finding our videos helpful and informative, do me a huge favor, guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all those notifications, and help us out with that algorithm and hit that like. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.